Hey everyone, today is April 3rd, 2023. So, April Fools came and went. We didn't have anything too significant. I made a video warning about a possible event for this year in April Fools based on what I decoded in iPad Goat 2. However, I do think we're going to see something significant in April Fools. It just wasn't this year. And I am now looking at next year, not just because it's next year, because I made some decodes and I want to show you a lineup for next year. But we did have something that did happen yesterday. I mean, two days ago on April 1st. That's way too much to be a coincidence in image that I want to show you. But first, I want to talk about why I was looking at April 1st, if you didn't see my other video. Bush wearing the dunce cap. The letter D is the fourth letter. He's holding one finger. So together, that's 4-1. You know, 4 slash 1 is April 1st. And he's also saying, while in the scene, fool me once, like he said it when he was in Tennessee on September 17th, 2002. Fool me once, shame on, shame on you, fool me. You can't get fooled again. Not only that, the D, as I said, the fourth letter, I didn't talk about this in my other video, but April 1st, 2023 was 4,004 weeks after Bush was born. So, But before I talk about April 1st next year, I want to show you something that did happen. We had this image of lightning striking the One World Trade Center. So... The Trade Center that replaced the Twin Towers that were demolished on 9-11 with President Bush in office. It's just weird. We had this clue for April 1st with Bush. Then this amazing picture of lightning striking the One World Trade Center. Now I want to show you this clip from Pet Goat. And look where his finger's pointing, right at the lightning. I'm going to back it up. Just a second. It, it, it points directly on the lightning bolt. While he's saying, can't get fooled again. So together, April Fool's Day, lightning strike at the World Trade Center Tower, the One World Trade Center Tower. Again, it wasn't something that happened that was like so significant, but I think it's too much to be a coincidence because something like this happened before. So in Pet Goat, there's another image of lightning. In the classroom above Obama's head, there's a reflection of the lightning bolt from the Psalms 23. I also mentioned in another video that this lightning bolt reversed is the letter Z because that is a representation of Zeus. And this is a representation of Poseidon with the trident. But on August 4th last year on Obama's birthday, we had lightning striking near the White House killing three people. So... They're showing lightning connecting with Obama and lightning striking the White House. And they showed lightning connecting Bush and April Fool's and lightning strikes the One World Trade Center on April Fool's Day. So it's pretty wild that this video is foretelling all these events, whether big or small. So here's the image again of Bush pointing at the lightning bolt. But he isn't only pointing at the lightning bolt, but he's pointing right at this dragon and next year 2024 is the year of the dragon and as i showed you guys he's pointing as he says can't get fooled again so referring to april fool's year of the dragon and i thought well it must be in the year 2023 because bush is the skull and bones member right and they show the 322 in the woman's hair. Just like the shootings, the classroom shootings happened 
322 days and 223 days after Bush's birthday. I, I made a video about that, the Evalde and the Valentine's Day shootings. Next year also has a Skull and Bones connection because it is 223 on the Chinese calendar. Not only that, we have a 322 connection to 9-11. Since this is in the classroom, he is holding his hand like he's shooting a gun. So this could be another shooting next year. And April 1st in itself does have a Skull and Bones connection. Because Skull and Bones equals 41, like 4 slash 1, or like President Bush Sr., who was also a member of Skull and Bones. He was the 41st president, born with 202 days remaining in the year. Look at the third cipher in reverse, 202. And look at the fourth cipher, 76, like Bush Jr., born on July 6, 76. So it makes me wonder about our current president, Joe Biden. Was he secretly a member of Skull and Bones? Because we are now in the Skull and Bones year, 322 backwards, to 2023. And look at his birth date, born on November 20th, 41 days remaining in the year. And also, the number 9011 equals the 1120th prime. But if you look at 9-11-2001, the day of the attacks, that date also equaled 41. Well, that's all I got for this video, and I will talk to you guys next time.